Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food, where today we're going to be checking out this Norwegian Arctic Field Ration, menu number 19. This is the creamy pasta with pork. Sounded like a good menu for today. A little bit about the nutritional info. Uh, ration weighs 307 grams, got 1266 calories, 58 grams of fat, 18.8 grams of saturated fat, I believe that's 139 grams of carbohydrates, 51 grams of sugar, 9 grams of fiber, 41 grams of protein, and 7.8 grams of salt, and has a best before date of November 4th, 2022. Definitely fresh. But let's get this opened up. Got your little place where you peel apart on the bottom left. Opens very easy. And let's see what we got inside. We've got a cranberry protein bar. I love those. A small tin of liver pate. 22 grams. We've got a spicy sauce. A Colombian freeze-dried instant coffee. A disinfectant wipe. A piece of spearmint chewing gum. Our main, which is the creamy pasta with pork. Got a Best Buy date on here somewhere. It's usually lasts quite a while. Yeah, April 2027. Plenty of time on that. We've got some oat biscuits. A lemon drink. Figures I start getting a lot of those. A little Ziploc bag. And last but not least, a spoon. That's everything in the bag. Decent amount of food. I always think it's kind of funny. You, know, you got the little girl or the little boy on there. Picture of each. They're always smiling. And, and when I was a kid, and if I had liver pate, I know I wouldn't be smiling. But I really love this stuff now. But anyway, let me get my tray get everything started okay here we got everything ready Let's get our coffee in our cup just a good old freeze-dried coffee and our lemon drink which I wish they would uh, seal the Ziploc you know after they fill it up because I know I sound like a broken record on these. But usually these drinks have little like sticky bits in them. And they're just usually all over the side of the pouch. And you have to mix these up in the pouch. You can't get, you can't get all that off the sides. But if you're wondering if these are bad, no, these are actually fine. But they are gusseted. Take 300 mils of water, you know, they will stand up on their own. But I do like to try and make sure the Ziploc seal does seal before I put the water in. Because these are pretty full. And uh, yeah, this one wants to seal fine. So, get our 300 milliliters of water in there. And get this sealed up, and we will get this shaken up off screen. Okay, got this shaken up pretty well. Get this pulled back up. Yeah, it's nice and clear. Put in a glass so you can see what it looks like. And just like the peach drink. You can definitely smell the lemon from here. And we'll get our main meal opened up. These are freeze dried really well. And even after you open them, they're like about these are Ziploc is sealed after you open them. Why did I not tear it low enough? Come on, don't be like that. There we go. Alright, 
it open up in the bottom. See what that looks like in there. It broke up a little bit. And these have fill lines on each side. Just fill to the line. Which the line is on this one is just below the food. But when it comes to the Norwegian rations, I fill the water up until it's just level with the food and it pretty much comes out great every time. And we'll set this aside a little bit. Let's see, keep it out of the way so I can do this a little off to the side so I don't fog up the camera when I put the hot water in. All right, get some hot water in there really quick. And I think that'll be just about right. Get this mixed up. Kind of dig into the bottom best I can. And just says to let it sit for, I believe it's eight minutes. Probably give it a nice little stir halfway through to see how it's doing. It smells pretty good. All right. Get this sealed up. Get it set aside. Get this back in view here. Get some water for our coffee. And give that a quick mix. Hope everybody's doing okay. It's like the weather down here doesn't know what to do. It's either really cold now or hot or cold and hot. Check out our disinfectant wipe. Which these are the ones that are just basically dripping wet. If I can get it opened up. <laughs> and dripping off onto the onto the tray. <laughs> Let me, me uh, start this off to the side really quick. But you can see how wet they are. But they are, I think say 70% ethanol. So they do dry pretty quick. I mean, I do enjoy them. And we'll get our cranberry protein bar out. I uh, always enjoy the cranberry protein bars. I just love them. And some of our oat biscuits. Oh, they're yeah, kind of beat up. I'm trying to get a wow. These were just destroyed. <laughs> okay, well, we'll kind of maybe get some out. Yeah, I don't know how those oat biscuits got so badly damaged. Jeez. And we'll open up our liver pate, which I just absolutely enjoy this one. All right, let's check out piece of our oat biscuit and those have a really good flavor to them they're a little bit sweet I don't know what spices are in there but it tastes a little bit like cinnamon maybe a little star anise great flavor a little bit crumbly I guess that's why they broke up so easily but we have our liver pate here yeah that tastes just like Brunswager like a good classic liver pate not very irony Really nice flavor, like I said. Very enjoyable. But I don't know if they'll go good with the oat biscuits or not. Now, usually I'd always try them with the biscuits. But they have like a... I don't know, like just they've got that spice to it. We'll find out. Well, that definitely gave it an interesting flavor. I ain't saying it's bad. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it gives a... Liver pate, a little bit of a sweetness and kind of a allspice flavor to it. It's, it's pretty good. And we'll check out our cranberry protein bar. Definitely a lot of great Krispies. You can see all the cranberries in there. I think it's got some raisins in there too. Nice and sticky. Yeah, these are always enjoyable. Has a nice little cranberry flavor. Almost tastes like it's sweetened with honey. 
a little bit sweet. Very crunchy with the Rice Krispies in there. Let's check out our coffee. And I've always enjoyed the Polar Mill coffee too. It has a decent coffee flavor. It's never been bitter. I don't add too much water to it. I've always enjoyed it. Okay, we got our main. Gave it a good stir halfway through. It seems like it rehydrated pretty well. Let's see how much we can get on here. Yeah, we can get all of it on there. There we go. Came out in one decent size amount. Definitely plenty of pasta in there. Looks like I've got some carrots. I can smell leeks or onions. Let me see if I can... Yeah, there's uh, some pork in there. Smells nice. See how well the pasta came out. Pasta is kind of soft. It's not mushy though. I probably let it go probably about 11 minutes instead of 8. So yeah, I'd, I'd probably just pull it at 8 minutes. Check out a piece of pork. And it actually has a pretty good flavor to it. You know, it's not a, I guess you'd say, an actual, I guess you say piece of pork. It's more like it's been minced and ground and, and formed and cut. But it does have good flavor. Check out a little more of this real quick. It's seasoned well. It's not too salty. Some people might want to add salt to it. Definitely going to add some of the spicy sauce. Get this opened up. Spicy sauce is actually pretty good. Definitely got a nice kick to it. Get a little piece of pork there again. Check it out with the spicy sauce. Yeah, it's a really nice vinegary hot sauce flavor to it. And we'll check out our lemon drink. And the lemon drink is really good. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's not too tart, but the lemon flavor is really nice. And we'll check out our spearmint gum to end this. And yeah, the gum is really good. The uh, spearmint flavor, it's really strong, right up front. Not too sweet, just the way I like it. But the, the flavor only lasts maybe, you know, four or five minutes, but that's okay. Yeah, that's enough for me. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Norwegian Arctic Field Ration Review. It is menu number 19, creamy pasta with pork. Main is pretty enjoyable. I definitely wouldn't go over 10 minutes on rehydration. You know, the pasta gets a little bit soft. But other than that, really good. I always love the cranberry protein bars, the liver pate. I wish it didn't, I don't know, maybe not have a such a sweet biscuit so it would pair a little better with the liver pate. Unless you want to just use your biscuits to dunk in your coffee, that'd probably be fine too. And the drinks in these are always great. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.